What's up guys, it's your boy Blaze J back again with another video and today I am here to tell you who are the best picks to vote for the Per Turban fan. That you see right here, it's time to vote. They added the vote into global. Um, I put my votes for today. You can vote every day. Uh, for three heroes per day until uh, I think the banner. But yeah, rankings are updated every midnight. So I'm gonna sh tell y'all what characters to vote for and not to vote for and why. Uh, I'm gonna begin. Uh, Green Meliodas. Old, not really used anymore. Blue Meliodas, the demon one. Blue Demon Meli. Uh, he's he's old. Legit, if you're new to the game, you got him for free. Uh, in the Homecoming Festival. And if you're new, you don't really need him. So I would not vote. He was in the JP banner. So that's what a lot of people like. Why is he in the banner? He's not really up to par anymore in PvP. Uh, um, he's kind of good for autoing, but there's still characters better than him than autoing. Um, this Liz, not really good. This green Liz, okay, but she's in every banner. Same with this blue Liz. This blue Bond, same. Like, these aren't really that like, good. This blue Bond, you, get, you got him in the homecoming banner. So, if you played then, you basically got him for free. And still then, he's not really good. Uh, neither this Bond, this Bond isn't good either. None of these Fat Kings, these three Fat Kings are good at anything. This Red one just got kind of good CC, that's it. Green King, good for Grey Demon, but he's in like the part one tickets. Like, most of these um, sins are in part one tickets. Like, you can get them from there. You don't want them in a festival banner, you know? Red King, part two ticket. Green Giant DN part one ticket. Like same with this, these three DNs, the skinny ones. Maybe you get the drink green tank DN, but she's in part two ticket. So you, do, I, I wouldn't really vote for her either. These two Merlins wouldn't vote for her. Uh, the blue one's just this high CC one. You really don't want her unless you got six dupes of them, which you really don't want six dupes of unless you're a whale. Um, freeze, she's in the part one banner. Green Escanor, <laughs> this one's controversial because a lot of people want him in there. No, you don't want him there. He's really outdated. There's a lot of green units better than him. People say, oh, he's good for new Belmont. I was legit streaming and using Green Escanor. Not even on the hardest difficulty. And he was like doing that good. You have to have him max, like. In order for him to do decently well, which yeah, I'm just afraid to tell you, not every new player is gonna have him maxed. Like one six, he's okay. Like you're gonna have all his cosmetics to make him good, but you really don't want Green Eskinor in the banner. And he was in a JP one, that's why people were kind of mad about it. Blue Gother, no. Now here we start getting into the good ones. Blue Tarmil, really good. Vote for him. He's a good vote. Little Dose here, good vote. Even not 6-6, six, six, he's still a good vote. Sario, good vote. He's amazing. Blue Zell just, eh. He's in a part two tickets, but he's not really good. I wouldn't vote for him. Neither is Green Fraudulent. Red Derriere, really good PvE unit. I'd say she's a good vote, but it's still better than characters in her. Uh, Blue Melascula, no. Green Glocks, no. They're not good. Or they're, they're, you know, they're used for everyone now. now you don't want characters who are good every now and then. You want consistently good characters. Uh, Green Droll, he's good. He's in a part two banner, but he's still good. Red Esterosa, no. Blue Gallon, no. Red Monty, no. Elate, in a part two banner, but she's pretty good in Guild Boss. But if you're not Guild Boss, every don't vote, but. She's not in every banner like these commandments and other characters are. Bellion. No, not really. Chandler. I voted for Chandler. He's really good. I don't have him, but he's really good. He's really good. For Assault Melee teams, even without Assault Melee, he's good with like Esterosa and Tarmiel. He's amazing. And 
Red Lilia, people will vote for her because she's never in any banner. She's an OC character. She's never in any banners. Uh, and she's okay. Not the best, but she's okay. So And plus, wifey. Uh, Lilia, Green Lilia, not really good. Blue Lilia, I mean, Pierce is just not relevant anymore. I would not vote for her. Um, even for autoing, it's just not love for her. She was in the banner as well, and people were really angry as well for the JP banner. I would not vote for her. She's really not really using any content, like not even autoing anything. Um, MK2 Valenti, she's really good. She's like good, like she has good damage, like Sario type of damage. She's great and she has like a disable card that disables what you do, like the effects, just like Chandler. That's why she's really good. Green Valenti, she's old, not really used anymore, but she is kind of useful. But she's an OC banner, as you can get it from there. Red Mono, no. Blue Mono, not really. Red Easton, she came out with Valenti. She hasn't been on any banners, so you got a good vote. Blue Easton, she's okay vote because she is a buffer and she helps you with, um, Anvil stage, which you need anvils, you can use that. Red Rocks, you know, Gamer Shin, one of the best autoers in the game. I would suggest picking him up. Camila, she's good for this guild boss, but I wouldn't really recommend choosing her. Uh, Blue Hendrickson, no. Green Hendrickson, okay, you know, but he's in a part one banner, so I wouldn't recommend. Guild Thunder, no. We need a bad guild thunder, by the way, but no. His dad, Sartras. If you need him from Belmont, go ahead. Uh, he's really good for Belmont. Um, Slater, no. Gila, no, because they're all like part one banner. They're basically free to play in the coin shop. Green Liz, she's good because she's really good for Belmont, the new raid for level 90. Red Jericho, she's pretty decent. I voted for her because she's pretty good. Uh, I want more dupes of her. But that was just a troll vote. Don't vote for her if you don't want to. Uh, I just vote for her because why not? Uh, Green Jericho, she's basically... And she, also, she's not really in many banners except for part two. Like, she hasn't been in any banner but the part two banner. So, Hauser, uh, no. Grimoire, no. He's a part one banner. Same with Arthur. This Arthur is in part two banner. This Arthur, the green one. I would say vote for him. He's good. He's really good. I would say vote for him. Vote for Nanashi. He's good as well. At the back, he's a good support. Denzo, he hasn't been in any bands, but he's not really good. So I wouldn't vote for him, but you can if you want. Death Pierce, he's been on every banner. Same with Delgery. Same with Matrona. Gerardi, I don't think she's been on one banner when she released. Or she, uh, she's been like on two, not much summons. So, I'll, you can summon for her because you need her for... Uh, Reverse stages, so if you if you want her for that, summon for her. These three albums, no, because they're basically free and then they know. But yeah, that's it for all the characters. I went over them, why you shouldn't vote for them. Uh, my three votes, you know, the Red Jericho, because I want Duke to her, and she's pretty good, but not the priority. The priority votes go to MK2 Valenti, Chandler. Uh, the three Archangels, Ludo, uh, Tarmiel, and Sario. Um, Derry. Uh, and yeah, Game Machine. I, I just listed every character that are good. And why you should vote for them and why you should not vote for them. So hopefully this helps for the new players. Pretty much went over everyone. If there's anyone else um, or want more information on or why you should or shouldn't vote for it, let me know in the comments and I will let you know why and give you more info. But yeah, make sure y'all vote every day. Make sure you don't vote for Blue D and Melly, Escanor, Blue Lilia. Because if we don't vote for them, we get some better characters. It's going to be really good for Global would be better than the jp banner so that's been great so yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys hopefully this helped i uh, appreciate y'all for watching and uh if you haven't already hit the subscribe button uh, if you're new we're close to 700 subs and yeah appreciate you for watching i'll see you later take care